Peace family, my name is Vicki Dillon. So pleased to be with you here on African Diaspora's channel. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and tell everybody your sister with the curly braids. Vicki Dillon is on now. Thank you so very much. By the way, family, I just want to say, perhaps you've heard or maybe you haven't. We have our own app. Yes, African Diaspora News Channel. What exciting news. We're expanding our voice. We want you to be sure to check it out sign up and be sure to share that information with other people because this expands our voice and also it gives us greater control there uh, without uh, too many other forms of interruption, censorship, that sort of thing. Okay. Thank you so very much. Family, you all know that uh, I, along with some of my colleagues, have been giving you um, back-to-back -back coverage on the goings on in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States of America. This is so important because the world is watching what's happening there. And of course, we're seeing signs of this in New York and some other cities with large black enclaves um, uh, that have major you know, immig uh, immigration issues. Um, but family, particularly in Chicago, because the black uh, citizen citizenry there is they're fighting back. They have been suing the city. They have been showing up to all the city council meetings. They have been coming up with all, all types of uh, political strategy. Well, because black Chicagoans have been so successful in shutting down some of the city and the state's attempts to prioritize and spend their very black taxpayer dollars on folks that violated federal and state law to get here while ignoring, this is the key, Black issues. You step over a black homeless veteran in order to spend millions of dollars on figuring out how you can give uh, migrants who violated the law shelter. Black migrant, uh, black uh, citizens who could not afford Chicago anymore were forced to leave the city and go to another town, another city, another state uh, that was more affordable while other groups are getting home vouchers and other uh, monetary subsidies. Make it make sense. It doesn't. Well, because of your success, because of uh, you holding your governmental officials, your local government officials accountable as you should. Now, remember, they love to tell black folks how we're voting and what we don't vote for. But in this case, they're trying to punish you for being too politically engaged. Guess what? The older persons, let me just read from, from this piece. The city council on Thursday voted down. And as of the day I'm airing, this is breaking news. The city council on Thursday voted down an attempt to advance a non-binding referendum question that would ask voters if Chicago should remain a sanctuary city. Alder people voted 31 to 16 against a parliamentary move to introduce the resolution at a special city council meeting Thursday morning swiftly killing the effort that had contributed that has contributed to widespread city hall turmoil in recent months on monday alderman's ray lopez of the 15th district anthony bill ninth awards i should say david moore 17th called for thursday's meeting to consider a resolution that if passed would place on voting ballots the question of whether chicago should keep its designation as a sanctuary city lopez said on thursday that he and bill were working on a substitute ordinance with different language to win over more support in the council, but ultimately no measure moved forward and no debate took place. So in other words, family, they say in the United States of America, who's supposed to be the top democracy on the planet, they are de-democratizing, de-democratizing. That's the word from the dictionary, not the dictionary. The dictionary is my book of words. They are de-democratizing your vote. The Democrats tell you that the Republicans are going to suppress your vote, which they do. But we're trying to show you that the Democrats are no different. We're trying to tell you it's a trick to push for Demo uh, Democrats as if they're the saviors of all these different things that they try to make you afraid of. The very thing they accuse the Republicans of doing, they're doing it in one form or another. This is a form of voter suppression. Why would your older persons, your representatives of your particular ward or districts sit there and vote down you deciding whether or not your own city can be labeled a sanctuary city? The Democrat Party. Again, they're the side of white supremacy that smiles in your face, 
that eats the chicken with you, that eats the fish with you, and that sings Amazing Grace in your choir stands. And so because Black folks have been using their dollars to actually sue the city, you have been using your intelligence to show up to uh, 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 multiple city council meetings. You know the rules and the laws and the policies there's uh, many of you, particularly concerning this issue, well enough to where you are giving your local government a run for their money. And they're intimidated by that. You are showing up in droves to where some of you, so many showing up to city council meetings that they have to have overflow rooms or different floors. And you're sitting there telling them how you are going to use your vote or not use your vote and strategizing to how, uh, on how to use your vote. And they are punishing and silencing you because of it. This is the ultimate voter suppression. And this is them warning you not to buck against the DNC. It's a new day, baby. You better believe that the powers that shouldn't be are not going to leave power without a fight. So I hope my family in Chicago and throughout the United States where these sorts of things are taking place are strategizing, working together and continuing the fight. Hold the line, beloved. We here in alternative grassroots black media, we've been having your voice. The stuff that we hear you say in the city council meeting sounds just like us. We know for sure you're not getting that from the black uh, 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 anchor persons in mainstream and established and legacy media. They're not telling you these kinds of things we're, we're telling you. So we know who you're listening to. And that's another reason they don't like that because the influence is growing more. Our influence with you is growing more and more. And that is because we're with the streets. I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Beloved, be sure to check out my website because I am launching my new, very, 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 very low cost estermine course at vickiplanet.com. That's my website. Check it out because it's going to be launching soon. V-I-C-K-I planet.com. And be sure to share the broadcast here. Give us a big thumbs up. That way other folks will engage and know that we're here live uh, we're here uh, uh, sometimes live, uh, but also some of our other content daily. Don't miss it. Thank you so much.